Right. This isn't actually a proper modelling video. I'm just testing to see if everything on the computer is working correctly. And uh, it does seem like I'm getting there. Why is my hair sticking up? Yeah, I haven't made many, many videos for a while. Busy fixing computers. I'm, I did a video before, but it failed because the sound wasn't recording. So I think I knew what that was. And sorted that out, and now I'm going to find out if the sound works. <coughs> what I've been doing is I've been working on uh, well, that's what we got the matchbox. Matchbox, I say. It came in a Ravel box. Um, it's the one uh, Mark 24 Spitfire, which is rather good actually. I mean, I wouldn't say this kit's been horrible, but it's given me a lot of nuisance as the because the um, the whole chassis, the fuselage rather, was was twisted. So I have had a. You can still see there's a slight twist in it, but it's you know it's it's. I've done a good job repairing it really, so I had to make a lot of, I did a lot of filling and it was just, it's just a pain in the backside. Um, and the engine, it, that, that meant the whole engine was out of sync, so I had to, I did a good job of getting that squared I think, but it, it certainly wasn't square to start with. But anyway, I've managed to pull this kit together. Was it fun? Yes and no. Yes it was, but, but the filling and twist didn't need that. I just want a nice straight build at the minute. Nice, no problems and all that. And that, no, the, the, the Spitfire was from Richie Gyrus. He uh, sneaked it on me, I don't know how he manages it to, but he was, it was just there next to me. Uh, anyway, this is the progress of the 109 I was doing before as well. This is from uh, Lenny Model, Model Pro. Hello Lenny. Um, again, engine fitting issues. The pins on these things are just ridiculously small, considering what, you know, the weight it bears. And uh, it really was causing a lot of issues. And I'm not sure all the panels for the engine fit properly, but that's really not a problem. So that's that's painted, that's you know painted and ready to go apart from decals. Both kits. This one I enjoyed. Engine was a bit niggly. But that's just me. And the um the reboxed reboxed matchbox kit. Um I'm trying to trying to say whether I've enjoyed it. Yes, I've I've sort of enjoyed it, but it's had its problems. Would I do it again? Yes, if it, if I didn't have a twisted fuselage, yes. And the ring roots were a lot more connected. But we'll see when it's done and when it, the finish is what it's all about. If it looks good when it's done it, and painted, then nobody need ever know. Right, um, if anybody watches this, let me know in the comments if the uh, sound's working. Erin, you especially because you did before and I didn't know the sound wasn't working but that's because I think my headphones were plugged in I'll be back properly soon I'm getting there